afternoon. Welcome to another session of Things with Mayhem. This is a Gaming with Mayhem. We're trying something a little different today. Today we're going to be baking. Why? Because I'm going out of town this weekend. I am going to run off into the woods to donate my time to the Sherwood Forest Renaissance Fair. Because Renaissance Fair, who doesn't love it, right? Right? So, that being said, uh, they have a meetup every few months where people get together, people who are interested in the fair. They come over, they camp for the weekend, you hang out, you donate your time to like gardening and cleaning things in the fair, helping build things, get things ready for the experience that starts in February. So if you're in the Austin area, you want to come out to Sherwood Fair because it's amazing. Come hang out. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be baking some cheddar biscuits because they have a potluck on Saturday nights when you come and you hang out. So. It's going to be really exciting. It's going to be good. There's some live music, there's some fire twirling, there's a, a great big chat where everybody talks about the new season, camping things, um, a clan meeting, which is pretty cool. I'm in the clan, the Wild Rovers, which is pretty awesome. It's a great group of friends of mine from Roller Derby and from the local community. We all hang out, we camp together, we sing together, we drunk and shenanigan together. It's all the fun. So. Uh, I'm going to be making today a recipe, actually my favorite recipe, from a cookbook that I picked up a couple months ago from my local Celtic store. It's called Things Celtic. It is in uh, Central Austin. It's an amazing shop, an amazing local owned shop. Uh, the ladies that run that store know just about everything about things Irish and Gaelic. Uh, they know about kilts. They know about a little bit about everything. And uh, I go in there every month or two and check out their books and check out all of their culture, which is amazing. So a few months back, I picked up this cookbook, which is the Irish Club Cookbook. It's an amazing book. It's got so many recipes in it, and it's got little vignettes that tell you about the history of Ireland and its food and the culture there, which is amazing and super exciting for me. So I first, the first recipes that I picked up out of this book, uh, oh, hello from Las Vegas, Jumpy McFadden. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great time in Vegas. So the first recipe that I'm going to talk about is the Cheddar Herb Biscuit Recipe. Man, this recipe is the bomb.com. It is the bomb and a half. I've made it four or five times. I made it for my D&D gaming group that meets every other Sunday. We meet this Sunday, actually, which is pretty great. We're playing uh, Rage of Demons at the moment, which is pretty fun. Uh, so we meet up at one of the people in our group's house. We hang out, we have a little bit of drinking, we play D&D, and whoever's hosting usually cooks something or picks up food to provide for the group. So a few months back, my lovely lady friend and I uh, decided to make some stuff out of this Irish cookbook. We did um, an Irish stew, we did these cheddar and herb biscuits, and then I made uh, a really great dessert recipe out of here, which is a bread pudding. Divine! Whiskey bread pudding. Whiskey and dessert together? Yes. Yes. Great. So, cheddar herb biscuits. Cool. So, the recipe list is pretty simple. I got all the recipe ingredients for this at my local Wheatsville Co-op, which is a great store that gets all of its produce and things from the local farmers, brings everything in together. Um, there are co-ops, so you can donate to the co-op and become a member of it. You get great discounts. You're donating to the community. Yeah, it's good stuff. So I just stopped into the store and picked up a little bit of all the things I'm going to need. So I'm going to need flour, I'm going to need two tablespoons of sugar, I'm going to grab that. Flour. And this is, I'm using Bob's Red Mill unleached white all-purpose flour for that, which I got at Weeksville. I'm using Wholesome Live, uh, Live Sweetly Organic Cane Sugar. Tablespoon of baking powder. Got show baking powders right here. And this camera actually works really well for this. It's got a nice wide set to it so you can see everything. Uh, cream of tartar. Salt. This salt dough. So it calls for half of a cup, which is one stick of unsalted Kerrygold Irish butter. Now let me tell you about that. This butter is straight from Ireland, from uh, milk from grass-fed cows, which is pretty great. And I heard recently 
that uh, the local, I think it's a local whiskey company or a local Guinness company, I can't remember which, uh, they give their dregs to the cows at Kerrygold, which is why their, their stuff is so great. Yeah, so this is Kerrygold butter. It's amazing. I use it for everything. I put it, I put it on toast, I bake with it, I put it in everything. Everything. It's amazing! <laughs> calls for four ounces of Kerrygold vintage or other aged cheddar. So again, you got your Kerrygold Irish cheddar. My local, uh, my local farmer's market, they have this as well, and they actually cut it for you, and they do different packaging for it. Bam. Not too expensive. It's five dollars for this block. It's four ounces is what it calls for, which is, it's so sharp and flavorful, flavorful, delicious. Two tablespoons of minced fresh herbs such as parsley, rosemary, and tarragon. So what I use, I've got a rosemary bush right outside the front door, which I actually need to step out for a second to go clip some from. And then I like to put tarragon in mine, which I also get at the local market. They have really nice packages of just a few sprigs of the herbs. Fresh herbs, man. There's just nothing like fresh herbs. This smells slightly of licorice. The leaves are nice and fresh. I just picked all this stuff up about, about half an hour ago, so it's super fresh. And then, my favorite ingredient, I like to use marjoram. Marjoram is another herb. I actually first heard about this herb reading the Dragonlance Chronicles growing up, which is pretty funny. Uh, Raceland likes to make a tea out of marjoram that he uses for his cough. It's got... It's got a really nice full flavor to it. It's really, really aromatic, and it just adds this nice little edge to the biscuits that brings out the flavor of the, of the uh, cheddar. Let me know how this music is. Um, the Weirdlings have a little playlist put together of music that you can use without worrying about like royalty. Um, infringement, like copyright infringements and stuff. I've never used it before, so this is going to be a first for me. So we'll see how it goes. You let me know what you think about it. Dem herbs go. Alright, I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to run out the front door real quick and I'm going to cut me some uh, some rosemary for this biscuit. I'll be right back. exactly to the recipe when it comes to the herbs. Herbs are kind of a tentative thing, depends on how strong they are, depends on what you like of them. So I just grabbed three or four little sprigs of rosemary and I'm going to use that for this recipe. Alright, so to start off, oh, and then a large egg and buttermilk as well. Now I had a bit of buttermilk, but I'm not exactly certain how good it is. It's for December 10th. So we are right around the end of the shelf life of this guy. Thank you. 
tablespoon of baking powder. This guy's really cool because on the inside it's actually got a lip that helps you to flatten it out so you don't get too much. So that's the perfect one tablespoon. quarters of a teaspoon and half of a teaspoon of salt. Ooh, I actually kind of dig this music. Another thing I saw my mom doing a lot when I was growing up is that she didn't usually use like a mixing spoon or anything. She would use a fork. I always use a fork. I don't know why, it just seems to work better for me. I like my sound effects when I bake currently. I like to use sound effects when I do a lot of things. I'm a very strange creature. All right, you add the butter and process for 10 to 15 seconds. So this butter is nice and fresh. It's all in one big block. So what I usually do to help the process along is I melt the butter. I take out one of these little guys. Cut it right down the middle with an A knife. So good. I swear I was French in another life because I love butter. I put butter on everything. There is not enough butter in the world to make me happy. And then I cut it into little cubes just to make it melt faster. Smarter, not harder, right?
Pop this guy in the microwave for a sec. Put the rest of this butter away. Interpretive dance of my people. Ta-da! Melty butter. We're almost melty butter. Give it a minute. A moment of stirring the butter. The butter. I'm gonna close some windows on my computer. It looks like I'm getting some lag. No lag for you. Hopefully that'll make that a little, a little better. All right, so we throw that butter in there. Mix it all in real good. All right. So, you got everything in this bowl and just mix that all up. So what's basically gonna happen here is as much of the butter is going to get absorbed into this flour as possible. So it's going to end up looking like really coarse crumbs, is what the book says. You can see it's getting more and more crummy. Ha -ha. Cool. Get that going in there. Sergeant! Hello! How are you, sir? Uh, this recipe actually isn't all that messy. So I am making cheddar and herb biscuits. I am going to donate some man hours to the uh, Sherwood Forest Renaissance Festival this weekend. My girlfriend and I are in a clan called the Wild Rovers, and we are on the quest to become uh, land holders at the fair, which means we can leave tents out there all season long, come and go anytime we want. You get a friend's a fair pass is what you do. It's like 150 bucks, and for the entire season you can go anytime you want to. And so anybody who wants to be more involved with the fair can come in. Uh, they do these clan meetings, and you can come in and donate your time to help like beautify the fair and help clean things, plant gardens, different kinds of little odd, odd ends and jobs that they need done. And they have a little potluck dinner on Saturday night for you. You camp for the weekend. So we're going out there this weekend and hanging out. Yes, I am making cheddar and herb biscuits, all fresh ingredients. Um, you're, I'm not too far into it. All I've done is combine all the dry ingredients and add the butter. So with the butter, it's got this coarse crumb look to it. And I'm about to mince some herbs. You hope I get it? Hope I get what? What you hoping I get? That's some tea. Because tea. I need a glass to mince the herbs. So the herbs that I like to bake with, as I was saying earlier, I use marjoram because it's got such a great flavor to it. The land thingy plot. Oh, yeah, thanks. There's a really big waiting list because it's a smaller fair and there are lots of people that want to be involved. But uh, it's a good sign if we all come in and hang out and donate man, man hours. I think that's one step closer to getting the land. I'm just happy to go hang out and be included. 
this was my first season going to fair, so this will be our first big season, like, actually contributing something, which is nice. So, the trick to mincing uh, herbs that I have discovered, you take them and you put them in a glass, and then you take, like, a pair of scissors and you cut them, because they, the herbs can't go anywhere, so it minces them up really nicely for you. So I've got marjoram in here, rosemary fresh from my garden, because fresh rosemary, yes. Oh, and Sergeant, I went through and I updated a bunch of stuff on my Patreon account because of, like, the conversations yesterday. I fixed some things, and I now have on my agenda to make a thank you video for Patreon and to, um, like, a thank you video and a purpose video and everything. But, um, I'm going to need your address because I want to send you a cosplay print as a thank you for donating to me because you are an awesome human being and I appreciate you. I added all these subscriber gets and things. So, uh, you get the gets because you helped me out. Oh, and, uh, I thank you for all of the well wishes yesterday. I booked that gig for next week. So I will be spending my birthday caving and repelling and learning all about being in the underdark for real bees. You say that your missus would love me, Fresh Herb Garden. Yeah! So my lady and I actually lucked out. The house that we live in, uh, the lady who lived here before, was really garden savvy. She planted a bunch of herbs and things that are really, uh, really tough and resilient in the Texas, um, the Texas heat. So we inherited a rosemary plant that is just thriving next to a rose bush in our front yard. So three herbs for me. Sajit says, you don't have to do that. International postage sucks. Aww. Well, I could, um, I could send you a link to the actual file for the picture, and then you could just get it printed there. That way you don't have to worry about shipping. You could get it printed whatever size you want. How about that? Why don't I just send you a media file, and then you can do a chat with it. Cave time. Congrats. Yes, thank you so much. I'm really excited. It pays well. It's a great crew, and they're a local company, so if they like working with me, the odds are they're going to book me for more projects, which is great. But it'll be interesting. I'm going to be in a cave until 6 p.m. on my birthday, and they have a hotel room for me that night, so I'm just going to be chilling in my hotel room, not doing anything for the rest of my birthday. I think I'm going to ask uh, my lady if I can borrow the laptop. Uh, it's her laptop, and she just lets me use it. Um, I'm going to ask her if I can take that with me so that I can stream from my hotel room. I won't be able to play Final Fantasy because I can't take my PlayStation with me, but I just purchased a digital copy of the Settlers of Catan game, so I think I might stream some Settlers of Catan because that sounds like fun. And if you're around to uh, Monday night and Tuesday night and Wednesday night, any of those nights, um, so like around 7 or 8 p.m. my time, whatever time that is for you, I think you're a few hours behind me, um, if you're around, we could play the game together if you have it. You get a sweet print, yeah. Um, if you want, go go to my uh, my Facebook page that's linked on my um, on my Twitch account. Go ahead and look through all my cosplay prints and let me know which one you like the best, and I'll send you a file for that one. You get to pick it because you're the first patron. You're awesome. All right. So we have tarragon, marjoram, and rosemary in this little cup. And I am going to mince them. Mince them! Cost you nothing and I get a seed off print. I like that. You say wall. Takes up most of the house. Nice. We've got a wall like that in our living room. My girlfriend is an amazing artist and we have a ginormous painting of Sean Connery in one of the... the um, one of the... Oh, you're 17 hours ahead of me. That's right. You're... It's like around the world, not backwards in the world. So it's Saturday where you are. Yeah, so we've got a giant mural of Sean Connery from uh, 007 on our wall, which is pretty gnarly. Yeah, if you're into Settlers of Catan, 
Uh, I think that we can play together on that that program. I got it on Steam. So if you're into that, holla at me and we can play. Mince the things. Mince, 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 mince. Why you got my Ming Shan jelly like a bean? Oh, you want to see? You want to see? Uh, you can probably see it from here. Let's see. Bam! There's that mural. Mural action. That's the entire living room wall. She painted it herself. It's awesome! She's a very talented lady. I am incredibly blessed. Speaking of which, I think she's a little mad at me. I went to the cat cafe today without her. Yeah, she's amazing. Amazing painter. I will shoot you a link to her page. Loading, loading. I just tried to spell studio with an E. Okay, so here is her studio page. Oh, you don't have settlers. No worries. I'll still stream it. We can still hang out. You still chat at me. All right. Hold on a second. I got to take a break. I will be back in two minutes.
Catwoman. Hell yeah, that's my favorite. That was my first from the ground up, like really professional cosplay. Uh, it's actually, um, it's not Lee. It's um, Julie Newmar is who it is. But it's the same era, so the costume's really, really similar. Yeah, get all that wheat, all that wheat action. All right. So I believe I have thoroughly minced these herbs. I want to do it just a little bit more, just to be careful. Nice. Well, you guys need to come on vacay over to America, and we'll hang out. We'll hang out and play Catan. We'll go to the Cat Cafe. We'll hang out. We have this awesome new thing in Austin. It's a Cat Cafe. Uh, so you pay $3 to get in, and you they have, like, a cafe, so you can order drinks, like coffee and drink tea drinks and things. And they have a full vegan, uh, vegan local grown menu, which is really good. And then uh, they have cats from the local rescue shelter all over the place. I mean, there's a giant tree with all these wooden branches with little platforms on them for the cats to climb on. Little things all over the ceiling for them to walk around on. Cat slings on the ground, cat food dishes everywhere, all the tables. So there's just cats everywhere. And they just come up to you and they cling to you and they cuddle with you and pur up a storm, and if you like any of the cats in particular, you can actually adopt them. Oh, it's the coolest thing ever, so I went and did that today. Super cool. Loved it. My, my lady's a little mad at me now, though, because I was supposed to go with her. But I, I got invited by some of the roller derby girls, and I'm trying to get closer to the girls and hang out more and, you know, be more involved in the roller derby community. I've been really busy the last few years, so I haven't been as present as I've wanted to be. So I, I met up with some of the new girls, uh, one of the new girls today, and uh, hung out at the cat cafe for three hours and just soaked up all the lovin's. Yeah, uh, check out my Instagram page. I posted like three pictures, and then I posted uh, four or five pictures on my Twitter page too. So fun. <laughs> adopt all the cats. Well, see, that's the thing, though. You don't have to adopt them. You could just go play with them anytime you want and then go home. It's great. It's like the best of all the world. Okay, so I've added the herbs. Then I need to add the egg and the buttermilk. So, buttermilk is one and a quarter cups. Nice. I'm glad I picked up more buttermilk today because that's the last of that. Buttermilk. This recipe is just delicious. I made this recipe for the first time for my uh, Dungeons and Dragons group a couple months back and they loved it. They ate all of the biscuits so much so that they asked me to make it for the next time we uh, hung out. 
And then I made it for the Renaissance Festival for two weekends that we went. And then I made it for, I got invited, we got invited to like a Friendsgiving for Thanksgiving, which is one of those weird American holidays that I don't really appreciate, but whatever, food. Uh, and we went and hung out for Friendsgiving, and I made my biscuits for that, and those were all gone. Those Irish recipes, man. The Irish just know how to do it. One egg. Local farm eggs. Kion. We have organic, organic valley. Safe chickens that have been loved and cuddled. Yeah, see, if you guys come stateside and hang out, I'll make you an authentic Irish dinner. We'll hang out, we'll play games, we'll drink the wines, we'll be classy, we'll be cook. We'll take you to the, uh, the Weird Thing studio, hang out. Alright, you said you will be right back. I will be right here making these biscuits. Trees. An entire four ounces of delicious Irish aged cheddar. It's hard making these when Amber's home because she wants to eat all the cheese. point in the day where my arm gets tired. Cheese. Cheese is everywhere. Amy just got up and seriously went nuts when you told her about the cat cafe. Yeah! That's awesome. Telling you, you guys need to come stateside for a vacay. Come to Austin, hang out, we'll go to shows, we'll do Cat Cafe, I'll make you some cheddar herb biscuits, we'll have an Irish meal. Apparently you're moving to Austin, yes! Mission accomplished! I'm telling you, there's some of the best food culture and the best music culture in the world. They call Austin like the music capital of America or something like that. So much live music here. Every freaking day of the week, there are at least 10 venues hosting shows. Everything from like indie local music groups to big, huge groups like Lord and 
everybody from all over the world. Oh, I love it. This cheese, this is aged cheddar from Ireland, is what this is. Terry Gold Aged Irish. Delicious. And after this, I'm baking a pumpkin pie. So I'm in the mood for baking. Wonder if you could scam a pleb, a pleb job at Outlamu. Dude, I'm sure Brandon would have you. Hell yeah. That or the Capital Factory is always hiring from what I understand. The Capital Factory. Oh, and Blizzard has a... Uh, Blizzard is here now. There's Rooster Teeth here now. There's Multimedia Games. Like, everybody is here. There is all of the things here. You guys should totes come hang out. What does your lady do for a living? What's her job? Oh, this cheese. It's the last little nub. I'm like sawing my fingers off on this grater. Ugh, this is the part that's messy. Get in there. Do it. Be cheese in the biscuits. Okay. Four ounces of Irish cheddar. Bam. You know more people in Austin than you do here. See? That's immense it. Come be a weirdling. Come hang out. If I'm gonna make a pumpkin pie, I need to take the crust out of the uh, freezer. I keep forgetting to do that. She is your part time career. <laughs> okay. So look at this. Okay, giant mound of cheese in this bowl. All of the cheese, all of the cheese, oh, all of the cheese for biscuits. Because you can't bake without Led Zeppelin. These biscuits! Be me, 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 me. This music is so trippy. I like it though. Alright. Biscuit assembly complete. Now to plate them. This is the messy part. I always get on everything everywhere. which is great. Now I'm going to clean these little things real quick and then pumpkin pie.
cooking done this book is amazing by the way if you're wanting irish recipes in your life get it it's got everything in it it's the irish pub cookbook and then if that's not enough irish you can also get this book which is from the same company it's the new irish table it has so many amazing recipes in it it's ridiculous i love it i cook out of it all the time delicious figured out what I'm going to do with your donation to the stream. Um, I am actually going to use it to purchase a one month membership for the Adobe Suite and I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to make, uh, in Photoshop, I'm going to make the first newsletter, which is great, and I think I'm also going to do some highlight reels of the last few um, Twitch streams that I've done. And then I'm going to also make a video for the thank you letter um, and for uh, like a here's why you should donate kind of thing letter. So in the next couple weeks, expect to see some video content. Wish me luck. Editing video is a new thing for me. I've um, edited some of Danny Danger's playlists. Um, her, her, um, I have edited some of Danny Danger's full lists before, but never from beginning to end. It just usually was like editing down content. We'll see. He says, Annie wants to know what the fresh fruit is like in Austin. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so strawberries pretty much all year round. Grapes come and go. Blackberries pretty much all year round. We get a good assortment of blueberries. Um, and I go to the local farmer's market, the local Wheatsville co-op, where everything is farmed in the neighboring areas and brought into the city. So it's all fresh. There's no pesticides, no nothing in it. Um, we get, I get pears all the time. Um, a pretty good selection of uh, citrus fruits, like pineapples usually there. Um, they've usually got some, like they've got pomegranates right now. They've got kiwi going on right now. Put this in the creative section. I don't know how to do that. Show me how to do that and I will. All I know that is that I can, um, I could put it into not, not being a, a um, damn it. I can make it not a game stream, but I don't know how to put it in the creative section. What do I do? What do I do? Show me. Mangoes. Yes, mangoes. All the time mangoes. And they are delicious. I put them in smoothies all the time. Uh, raspberries also. We get a huge selection of raspberries. Like, I've got a lot of fruit frozen right now. I like to make smoothies during the summer for Amber. It's really good stuff. Uh, just like changing the game and type creative. Okay, give me one second. Uh... Changing it, doing it, doing it. Thank you so much for the advice. I appreciate you. Change it in the broadcast title. See, I knew I could put that I wasn't um, playing a game, but I didn't know how to get it to say that it was a creative channel. Aha. Learning new things with friends. Because you guys are beautiful and I appreciate you. Dashboard. I don't know why I didn't have my dashboard open to begin with, because I'm silly. Okay, so, playing creative. Oh, okay, cool. To add some hashtags to your title, like painting, music, programming, or, or whatever. Okay. 
Okay, just like changing the game and just type creative. Do I just leave it at creative or do I put like creative dash baking? Do I just leave it at creative? What do I do? Because I have the broadcast title changed, so that's good to go. Baking with Mayhem. Looking it up, friends. I like numbers, colors. Hello, welcome to the stream. You just missed the end of me baking cheddar biscuits, but you are right on time because I'm about to start baking pumpkin pie. You're now hosting me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, so creative update. It is now a creative stream. Very quickly selling Amy on the move. Yay! Come hang out! There are so many restaurants that are in Austin that are all about, like, Austin is the little hippie commune of Texas. Everybody else around us is Republican. Austin is very much more, like, libertarian, more democratic, more open-minded, more hippie. There's more music, there's more art culture, there's more music culture, local food culture. There are so many restaurants that only serve food that's been locally grown by the farmers and, and ranchers in the area. No pesticides, no nothing in it. It's all great stuff and it's all local. I love Austin. Austin's great. Austin's the jam. Okay, updating my Twitch channel. Hippie Commune sold it. She just asked over we're moving. Oh, and plus, roller derby culture. Roller derby, roller derby. We have one of the best flat track roller derby leagues in the world. I think they were ranked second, uh, second in the world last year. And we have the resurgence of the bank track roller derby movement right here in Austin. TXRD, the bank track roller derby league that I officiate for. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna update my my shenanigan real quick. Give me one moment. Doom, 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 doom. So it said to add hashtags to it, so I added some hashtags in the creative thing. Let me know if that's right, if I did that the way I should. Look it up, friends. Give me the advice. Oh, I'm being creative. That's cool. Mayhem's news is being creative. Because pumpkin pie is creative. I dig it. Skate? Uh, you need coffee? That's cool. See, you could come be a referee and hang out on the sidelines and not have to skate. And she could skate. Huh? Alright. I gotta look up this recipe for the pumpkin pie. It's done. Title fixed. Yes! Learning to do the things. Okay. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. You're too afraid your hair would get caught in the skates. <laughs> Honestly, that doesn't really happen because you wear helmets. Helmets are required to skate. Checking out this pumpkin pie recipe. Okay, need my pumpkin. One 
can of Farmer's Market Organic Pumpkin. Alright, so we need pumpkin, we need sweetened condensed milk, bam, organic, also from the local farmer's market, dig it, dig it, two large eggs beaten, let me pull those out. Twitch is being a jerk, the video is freezing a little. I don't think it's just yours, I think mine froze a little too. Let me know if that clears up. I might have, I don't know, I might have too many things running. Let's see. Maybe my computer's getting a little too warm in here. I'm in the kitchen and it's quite warm in here. I'm gonna try to cool off my computer. Let me know if that helps. Can you see me now? Is it a little better? Is that working a little better? It looks like it is. What bit rate am I streaming at? Um, that's a good question. Where do I check that? Video bit rate, 2000. Audio is 128. Should I change that? Let me know if I should change that. Because I'm totally able to do that. Getting mic spam from the breeze now. Okay. Is that better? How's that? Better, better. Two K is fine. Cool, good deal. <laughs> Learning things. I know nothing about these things. Three eggs. Spam gone. Vid's good for now. Remember, I have wombats powering my net. Huh? <laughs> That's adorable. All right, we need brown sugar. And I'm just going to regular sugar. Sugar. Wholesome sweeteners, organic dark brown sugar. Wholesome live sweetly organic cane sugar. Cinnamon. And my grandmother always puts both nutmeg and clove into her into her pumpkin pie, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Sugar 
ground cinnamon salt. Brown ginger, nutmeg, and clove, and a pie crust. Cool. Got all them ingredients. Austin sounds like one of the healthiest towns you've come across in the U.S. Uh, it's a balance. Everything is locally made, but we do like to get indulgent with our food. We, I mean, the food culture here is just ridiculous. I mean... There, everything is food. There's barbecue here. There's great dessert culture, bakery culture. It's it's a very decadent city. All of all of culture, be it music or art or food, all of the things are here in Austin. It's really such a great place to live. I'm from Washington State originally, which is about as hippie commune as you can get in the U.S. It's such a laid-back place. Oh, Lord Awesomeness. Hey, Phoenix! Welcome to the chat room. It's great to see you via the internet instead of real life. For those of you who don't know Phoenix, Phoenix is an awesome individual who works with Founder City Films, which is a local production film company that makes some really, really awesome indie and commercial films, and I love working with them. There are a couple projects of theirs in my film reel, which are just... I love it. I'm glad to see you on the chat. This makes my day. Love it. Yeah, so Austin, man. Austin is the jam. Austin is the place to be. I'm trying to get some friends from Australia to move to Austin, Phoenix. Talk it up. Talk it up. Let's make this all a little smaller so I can fit everything on my screen. There we go. Cool. Got that there, got that there. Alright, combine pumpkin and remaining ingredients in a large bowl. Well, that's easy. Just combine all the shit. And my large mixing bowl is currently being used for the biscuits that we just finished. Which are still in the oven, so I'm going to use a medium mixing bowl. So close to happening, you're a little scared. Why are you scared? It's not a scary thing. We'll hang out, we'll have a great big old welcoming party for you when you get here. It'll be great. Alright, one and three quarters can of pumpkin. How much is in this shit? Pretty sure it's just one can. We're doing one can. Come what may, one can of pumpkin. If if I can find my can opener. Right in front of my face, in the drawer I just opened. Kaiseris, who's the girl in the picture? You're looking at her, darling. That's me. Uh, I model. If you take a look in the info bar uh, on my Twitch channel, you can look at my Facebook page. That's my professional Facebook page for modeling and acting. All of the pictures you see there of this lady, Rachia. It's like a car it's like a Clark Kent disguise. You know, you throw the glasses on and nobody recognizes you. It's beautiful. You take the glasses off and bam, there's Mayhem. Tying my shoe. And I guess I could take the Irish cookbook down since we're not making the Irish recipe anymore. We already finished that. But whatevs, whatevs. I like to use a fork when I bake, something my mom did when I was growing up. I don't like using like mixing spoons, spatulas, I like using a fork. I don't know, I like the weight of it in my hand, I like the control I get, I like the aeration of the tines. So we are throwing this organic pumpkin into this here bowl, this bowl. You wouldn't recognize me for a while. You didn't know that Hannah Montana was Miley Cyrus. Wigs are amazingly transformative. I'm not wearing a wig in that picture, but yeah, wigs are crazy. Like here, for example, I'll mess your whole world up here for a second. Oh 
throw some modeling pictures at you. Uh, let's see, something really crazy. Fenty Young, I have really nice glasses. Thank you so much. I found these online. They really, man, I just love these guys. Then they're plastic frames, so they're not uncomfortable. Okay, here's a cool one. This is kind of a roller derby picture. Bam. That's me. Yeah. Throw another one at you. You felt so stupid when you found out about Miley Cyrus. Don't. Wigs are crazy. <laughs> well, thanks. Those lips run in the family. Uh, my mom always says that um, that I remind her of Angelita Jolie. I do roller derby. Davy Joe won. What is that about? I don't know what that's about. How did I end up here? All right. We got a lot of random people all of a sudden. That's cool. So yeah, so there's that picture. Or of that. You're in that weird part of Twitch again? It happens. Alright, now I can't get the picture to go away. Remove. Catfish. What? My girlfriend should kill her blessings. Uh, I don't know. I am a really lucky lady as well. My lady is an insanely talented, super humble, just really, really nice girl. I consider myself to be very blessed. So yeah. Making this pie. I'm gonna move this fan over because man, it's hot in here now. It's like I have my oven up to 400 degrees or something. How did Sergeant Stackus suddenly become a moderator? Uh, I've been meaning to make him a moderator for a while, and I just did. Because I have the magic powers of making people a moderator. Sergeant! I have a funny feeling about this. Alright, people. This is a very uh, people-friendly stream. No inappropriateness, no lewdness, no inappropriate lewdness, I should say. You better put that out there while you're on camera. I better put what out there while I'm on camera? My girlfriend's amazing. Shoot, I say that all day long every day, because she is. You're a nice guy. You are a nice guy. Sergeant Stackus is the nicest guy. Alright, one and three quarters of a cup of sweetened condensed milk. Lord Awesomeness says, You're good at most types of cooking except baking. The only thing you've ever successfully baked is an apple pie. Hey, apple pie is the introduction into baking, though. They say if you can bake an apple pie, that's that's your, your segue into the world of baking. With a soft heart and an iron fist, I like that. Baking is a thing that my mom always did when I was growing up. Uh, what is this? What is this link in my chat room? I don't know about this. Don't be posting links in my chat room unless you've asked for permission, please. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that's a great, delete that, I'm a fan of it. Do not post things in my chat room, please. New rule. Yeah, so my mom baked a lot when I was growing up. I come from a family full of Irish women who love to cook and bake. Cooking, not my forte. I cannot cook worth a damn. But baking is a thing that I can do. I can do the baking. And I just put my can opener away. But I need it. You're opening up this sweetened condensed milk. Taking off the lid. Pouring this 
standing here. You almost got where the purge button was. Nice. Sweeten condensed milk. It's just YouTube. Yeah, keep it nice, folks. Cue X Files music for what? action. Why did Davy Joe get permabanned? Did he get permabanned? I don't know, did he? I'm gonna leave that up to Sergeant Stackus. You can give warnings, but don't be inappropriate and don't post links without permission. Yeah, alright. See, he's still there. It's cool. We're all cool here. Just keep it real. Two large eggs beaten. Oh, I don't know why the, I thought the recipe called for three. It calls for two. I seem a bit distressed to be cooking. That won't do. Nobody likes eggshell in their pumpkin pie. That's like opening up a present and fighting for cake. Alright, those cheddar biscuits are almost ready, which is exciting. The good sergeant has the chat under control. He does. Hair like Elvis? Nice. I'll take that. It's a, it's a no wig day. Add a fork. Oh, my fork's being used. I need another fork. I think I'm going to single-handedly go through all of the forks in this kitchen. Beating eggs. So what do I do for those dollar bills? Just modeling? Um, it's a combination of things. Modeling and acting is the primary. I studied music performance and um, music education and music and English literature. So I do a little bit of writing as well. Writing and music performance. I play the classical flute and the jazz saxophone. But these days, the last uh, the last two years or so, it's really been just acting and modeling. I teach workshops for photographers on how to work with model subjects, how to pose people, what verbiage to use, how to book the right creative entities for the shoots that you're wanting to do. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a jack of all trades. I get very passionate about a lot of creative things and I like doing different things all the time. So acting and modeling is great for me because it's always a new project. It's always something new. So for instance, this next week is my birthday. Um, he only just got made mod because I didn't think to do it before. Because usually I'm video gaming where I can be much more hands on with the chat room. Um, but baking, it's kind of time intensive, so I don't want to have to clean my hands and use the keyboard right now. Yeah, so this next week, I am going to be booked for a film set where we're going to be caving and repelling and going to the gun range and shooting. Uh, yeah, tying my own shoes is definitely a thing. Also a roller derby girl, so I know how to give a proper hip check when needed. Was I that chick in the dark night? I believe you're talking about Anne Hathaway. That was not me, but I am greatly complimented by that. I, I had somebody I went to high school with uh, tell me that I looked a lot like her and actually posted a um, a picture of a collage of like three pictures of me and three pictures of Angelina 
uh, not Angelina, the Anne Hathaway right next to each other. Okay, yeah. Fun team, keep it clean. One more comment like that, and yeah, you're out. Like, part of a band. No, sir. This is not a sexualized stream, we don't do that here. She's in the Dark Knight Rises, yes. Who was the one in the Dark Knight? Oh, uh... God, I can never remember her name. It'll come to me in a minute. Unless you get there first. Two large eggs, firmly packed light brown sugar, two thirds of a cup. Alright, I think I have one third of a cup of brown sugar, so I'm going to Heath Ledger. I'll take that. Heath Ledger. He's a classy guy. Well, he was a classy guy. Sad times. Rip Heath Ledger. Alright, so we only had one cup of... One cup of brown sugar, so I used another cup of regular sugar. I made some fruit dip this week and used some more of it. When are we doing... What's going on with that Celtic music circle? Ah, oh, we need to do that. I'm going out to Sherwood Forest Fair this weekend to help them get ready for their season. That will definitely be the perfect place to do that, in the campgrounds at Sherwood Fair. So next season, you come hang out and we will do that. Why is so serious? That's my life, bro. That's my life. I'm a serious kind of lady. My roller derby referee name is Judge Red, spelled with two D's, like Judge Dread, for a reason. I am the law. Alright, one and a fourth teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Troll much. Yeah, we're not about trolling here. Thanks. Bye. It's interesting to me, these chats. Like, I never have people trolling my chat room, ever. It's happened once. But it, when it did happen, it was like three different chat people at the same time were all being creepy. And one person came in and I had to block them five times in the course of like five minutes. It was insane. Like, guys, come on. You don't have anything else, else better to do with your life than be inappropriate in my chat room? Why? Not cool, brah. Not cool. Sergeant Stackus, I appreciate you. I think you're going to have to have two, um... Cam, where you can see the music? The food! See the food? Yes. Bam. How about that? So, it's just mixing bowl at the moment, full of all the things. Cinnamon going in this mix. Actually, I'm silly. I don't know why I'm moving the whole thing rather than just moving the camera. We will move the camera there. How's that? Is that a little better? You haven't been to the Renfrew in like two years. You tried those two years and something always came up. No, that's sad. You gotta try again. Renfrew is where it's at. Half of a teaspoon of salt. A little bit too much. And that's the computer in the way of the thing. Alright, uh, ground ginger. Oh, I don't know. Oh no! 
I fail. I'm out of ginger. Ginger. Do I like Sherwood or the Texas Red Fest better? Uh, so that really depends. Um, the Texas Red Fair is fun because it's so big. Sherwood is better because it's a small community and everybody knows you there. And from what I hear, the feast, uh, the King's Feast that they have at Sherwood Fair is a lot better than the one that they have at TRF. TRF is just so big, it's hard to maintain that quality. But at Sherwood, it's such a small neighborhood community that everybody knows everybody, and it's much easier to maintain a high level of um, quality. I drop the tunes just like one notch. Yes. It's in the computer rather than on the TV, so it's a little closer than it normally is. Okay, we've got clove, half of a teaspoon of that, so I'm going to put a whole teaspoon in. Because I like that spice in my pumpkin pie. Is that a little better? Or a lot better? Is it too low? So instead of the clove, or sorry, instead of the instead of the ginger that this recipe calls for, I'm gonna put more nutmeg in it. It's 30 minutes outside of Austin, so that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. Rather than the two and a half hour some odd drive that it takes to get to Tiara. All right, friends. Guess what? I'm gonna bring this back up here for a minute. We have biscuits. Look at these delicious biscuits, cheddar biscuity awesomeness. Because delicious. All right, let me figure out what I need to do with my, okay, I need to turn my oven up in a bit for the pie, but I have one more batch of biscuits first. Give me one second, I need to transfer the biscuits out and then we will get going again on the pie. the volume's great now. Good, great. Reasons for moving are piling up. Yes, so you can come Ren Fair with us. Which is awesome. Thank you. 
two in the oven. Burn my finger in the process. All right, so you've seen that on Brandon's Twitter. What's it called? A M C A C L. That's the Austin City Limits Music Festival, which is one of the big biggest music festivals in the world, I believe, if not the biggest. If you feel lucky enough to have seen Alice and Alice, uh, Ozzy and Alice Cooper there. Nice. That's oh, that's great. That, those have got to be amazing concerts. I've heard they give a really good show. Oh, nice. We went back down to uh, three people in the chat room. But all the trolls left. Yay. Good job, guys. Salt, ginger, cloves. All right, now we mix. We mix to taste. I love my grandmother's uh, pumpkin pie. She always puts a ton of spices in her pie, and that's what really makes it for me. It's a really nice balance with the lightness of the cream that you put on top of it. Brisbane, if you don't know the slang. <laughs> it's funny. Still think it could use some more spice. So I'm going to put some more clove in it. Some more cinnamon. And a little bit more nutmeg. All them spices. You are aware. Nice. Lord of Austinness, where are you at? Like, do you live in Austin? Are you outside of Austin? Where are you at? it is that you guys live. I've never been to your house. I've only ever hung out with you at the uh, at the Founder City house. Casa de Awesome. And do you prefer that I call you Phoenix online or do you want to go by Lord of Awesomeness? I'll call you that. It's cool. Alright, so... Our pie mixture right up in here is looking pretty delish. Let's get this camera down on it. Delicious! Delicious pie-ness. You live south. Cool, I'm south. We're probably like right next door neighbors. I'm between like the Lamar and Blue Bonnet area. Yeah, that pie's spicy now. It's going to be delicious. I love that you call me bruh, though. That's cool. I dig it. Oh, yeah, that clove is going to be delicious. And as my mom says, clean as you go. So I'm cleaning. Okay, so we're going to bake this pie for 425 for 15 minutes, and then we reduce the heat to 350 and bake for an additional 50 minutes. Scatman John... You're a big fan. Can you have mod? No, you may not. Thanks for asking, though. I appreciate you. You're right across from the Fiesta. Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, you're right up in my neighborhood. I'm gonna put all these ingredients away. Lil. Do you mean to say L O L maybe? Sergeant Stackers is more than a friend. He he contributes to all of the weirdling stuff, my my channel and everybody else's channels. He's always giving creative feedback. He's always hanging out in the chat room, so it makes sense for him to be a moderator. That's just how it is, yo. We only need one. But I don't know. Hang out for a few months. Be cool in the chat room. Talk people up, and uh, you never know what could happen. It's all about that attitude. It's all about that attitude. Yeah, alright. Last warning, Scatman, you're about to be removed from the chat room permanently again. I love it when people troll my page and then come back and troll some more. It's great. It's great. <laughs> I like that. Take 10 minutes to chill me. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do while those biscuits are finishing so that I can raise the heat in the oven to bake this pie, I've taken this pie crust. Um, the air in Austin isn't all that great for baking pies. The trolls, they're coming out the gotcha walls. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Who let them out of the basement? Who did that? Go back to your parents' basement. It's cool. Uh, so a thing that my mom always taught me to do is to take tin foil and cover the top of the pie crust to keep it from getting too exposed to the heat in the oven. So it, to keep the crust from getting burned and from breaking, um, I'm going to cover the top of the pie crust in tin foil to, to facilitate the baking process. Tin foil. I'm just gonna cut a strip of this. Might not be thick enough. Whisper abuse always makes me laugh. Oh no, what happened? What did he say to you? I have a feeling that's the same guy that was creeping on Craig's chat room the other night. It felt the same. And I left this pie crust out for a little too long, so it's super soft. So yeah, I'll move the camera for a minute so that you can see what I'm doing. Cool. So, humidity is one of the few problems you hear. Yeah, it's really a problem. So you take this tin foil and you just gently kind of foil it over. Not like too deep up in there. Like this side's too tight. But just to create a little barrier from the heat. Into the frame more. We're gonna move the camera back a little. There we go. What's winter like? <laughs> uh, winter sucks here in Austin. Like, it's not winter at all. So it's what? It's halfway through December right now. The leaves on the trees in my neighborhood are just barely starting to turn red. That should tell you about our winter. I think it's like in the 60s and 70s here today. It's gross. It's super gross. I'm from Washington State originally, so I want snow in my life. I want it to be cold. I want to be able to layer and wear sweaters. But nah, not Texas. Nope. 
See, when I lived in Corpus Christi, people were like, oh yeah, when you move up to Austin, it's going to be snow all the time, and it'll be great, and it'll be nice and cold. Yeah, no. We've had record heat. It's just gross. Just super gross. So send me some snow. It snows in Australia, right? Right? Maybe? A little bit? Oh, but you're an island, so... You're... Oh, wow! You're going to Colorado for Christmas. That's awesome. I'm going to be in Colorado in February for a gaming convention that I'm guesting at. Bring me back some snow, Phoenix! Bring it! So there, you have your very prettily tin-foiled pie crust. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. The biscuits in the oven are still pretty doughy. You used to live in a town where it would go from 30 in the mornings to 110 in the midday. Jesus, that's ridiculous. During winter? Aw. No thank you. That's ridiculous. I'm not about that life. Give me some snow, man. I need it. Now this camera's being weird. Sounds like Texas. Yeah, it is. No snow in the state you live in. Ugh, sad. I mean, unless you're into that. Specifically around the south border. Oh, yeah. Nice. My lady is on the way home from work. That's exciting. She'll be home in like 40 minutes. Nice. A photographer that I've shot with before wants to shoot me again, which is great. They're thinking something creative and elegant. Like me in the dark colors and dramatic eyes, the Riddler photo in my portfolio is probably closest to what he's thinking. Let me check my calendar real quick. See if I'm available for this photo shoot he wants to book. The 22nd. Done. Born raised in Texas, so you like it hot. 101 degrees is perfect weather for you. Ugh. Ugh. I'm a snow baby. I need it to be cold outside. I can't do that. Mm -mm. Town that 
would top out at 30% humidity. It's pretty much the same. Ugh. It's gross. Can't do it. It's gross. All right, so I think we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the pie into the crust and then move that over to the oven, and then I think we're going to call it a day because I it's going to take like over an hour to bake, and I don't have that much time to stay on the computer today. So I'll move this computer back down here. Whoop. Whoop. Do it. Do it. Cord's getting in the way. Did I make the base? No, I did not make the base. That's what I was talking about. The uh, the crust situation here in Austin is ridiculous because of the humidity. It's it's so hard to get a good crust going on. So I did not make the crust. I bought a pre-made one from the farmer's market. But it'll still get the job done. Here we go. Pouring this pie. Ooh, it's a lot of pie mix. Damn. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is something my mom used to do. When you make too much, too much batter for your pie, take some of it out and put it in its own dish and bake it separately. That way the pie bakes evenly and it looks pretty. Then you have like a little mini pie custard. Made a ton of tour of Texas. Uh, itinerary for a friend, but turns out they aren't coming. So if you make it out here, Sarge, I'm prepared to give you a tour of the whole damn state. Yeah! That sounds like a plan. Let's go on an awesome tour of the state. Photo tour. Alright. So that's the pie. You're going to look at how much it's going to cost to move. Not sure about getting a visa, but... Uh, I don't know. I have a friend who moved here a few years back from New Zealand. And she has just gotten her green card and is pretty excited about it. They're apparently kind of a bitch to, to get right now because Americans are weird. And I just spilled pie mix everywhere, which happens. Tastes delicious. Alright, so this has been another session of Hanging Out with Mayhem. Baking with Mayhem, the first session of Baking with Mayhem. I think it was pretty fun. Not a bad way to kill an afternoon, you know. I had to bake, I wanted to stream. Two things combined. I dig it. Uh, so I did book that film set. So I am going to be out of town this next week. I will be on the Dominion of Esalen on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock at twitch.tv slash dot geek, like usual. Um, then I will be in in uh, Bernie, Texas, in San Antonio, basically, for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings. I think I might have the computer with me, in which case I will probably be playing the Settlers of Catan on the computer. And if I can find some other Steam games that are free to download, I might play something else as well if I get bored. We'll see. Um, I'll probably take my birthday present with me to, uh, to San Antonio, and then I will um, probably open it on stream. Just as something funny to do. Why not? Killer Vicky's and a sweet pie. Yeah! 10 out of 10 got baked. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Yeah, oh, so here is the finished product of the cheddar biscuit. Da, 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 da. They are delicious. They are fresh. They smell amazing and they're going to taste awesome. And if, again, if you are interested in the recipes, I suggest you pick up the Irish Pub Cookbook. It's delicious! Alright friends, I'm going to go clean up. Thank you guys for hanging out. You guys are awesome. I will talk to you all soon. Phoenix, you are a legend for hanging out. 
Sergeant, you are amazing as always. I super appreciate you. Thank you for being my first patron uh, on my, well, not Patreon account, but thank you for patronizing me. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Chris Camerai as well for making the first, the, uh, it's not a muffin. It's just made in a muffin tin, so it's neater. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for Chris Camerai for donating the first dollar to my Patreon account. Thank you to Mary the Knitting Dev for being the second person to donate on my Patreon account. You guys make my world go round, and you make it easier for me to do the streams and take me one step closer to my goal of streaming on a somewhat regular basis. Full-time, part-time, I don't know, we'll see what happens.